Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to do OctaWeb and other um, engine configurations or symmetries where you are where the symmetry tool of 6 does not suffice. Um, so that's things like having 7 on the outside and then 1 on the inside like, we've, like I've got here in this example. It's also things like SpaceX's OctaWeb that they use on their Falcon 9 or things that are ridiculous like um, super heavy engine boosters etc etc although it can also be used on this I used it on this it's fine but if, but you can do that just with five times symmetry so to get the engines on your rocket you can either divide the 360 degrees in a circle by the number of engines in the circle and just place the engines where you want it such as 0 1 and rotate it by the uh, rotate the body of the rocket by 360 degrees divided by n which is the number of engines and then place another engine at um, 0 1 or whatever coordinate you place the first one at and then you do that until you complete the full ring of engines or you can use my calculator which I made which is linked in the description and it will give you the coordinates of where each engine will go. This is how to use my engine ring position calculator. So first you're going to set the radius that the of the ring that the engines are on. This is not the radius of your rocket. If it's the radius of your rocket your engines will all be on the edge of it. This is the radius of the ring that the engines go around. I'm going to set that to 2 just to demonstrate. Then you're going to set N. N is the number of engines that you will have on your rocket. So I'm going to set this to 7 because I think that's a good number. Right, and then there's A. A is the angle that the engine is on, but I've got it so that it slides and it clicks to each of it for you so you don't have to go work out um, with trigonometry to figure out, or not trigonometry, just just 360 divided by um, the number of engines, how many, what angle that it's going to be at. Okay, so you're going to have an engine here, an engine here, an engine here, an engine here, and so forth and so on, until you get right back around. So let's say you're placing the fourth, in, uh, yeah, the fourth engine, at, which is going to be at 154 point all that degrees. What this does is it works out the coordinate that it's going to be out using R, which is going to, which is a scale because cosine and sine are ratios of that angle so this is supposed to be theta but it wouldn't let me have the theta symbol in there so scale times cosine of theta that will give you how far across it is so it's 1.8 uh, negative 1.8 that way and same for the sine that will give you how much up it is so it's 0 0.86 and that will give you this coordinate on the circle then what you're going to do is you're going to copy this value and put that into the X box and some rockets you're going to copy this value and put it into the Z box because in Desmos this is a 2D plane but in some rockets it's a 3D plane and the Y represents up and down you should like and subscribe as well as comment and share cause then you are cool